Hi everybody, Fritz here. In today's video, we're gonna go over your decarboxylation lab. In this lab, you'll be given three test tubes, each of them containing either lysine, ornithine, or arginine. You'll also have bromosol, which will act as your pH indicator, glucose, and then once you've inoculated each test tube, you will add mineral oil on top. And the way that you will inoculate this test tube is by using aseptic transfer in a loop to transfer isolated colonies into the test tube. As soon as you've inoculated it, you will add a top layer here, which is your mineral oil. And then once you've done that, go ahead and label the test tubes and place them in the incubator for further observation. And then when you come back for observation, you could have one of two color changes. The first one being a yellow color change. The second is you could have a purple color change. If you have a yellow color change, this indicates to us that the glucose was broken down, but the amino acids were not. So one of these three amino acids that correspond to this yellow test tube was not broken down, but the glucose here was. On the contrary, if you have a purple color change, that means that the glucose was broken down as well as the corresponding amino acid. And this color change from this orange or brown color here to a purple color indicates to us that the bacteria that we inoculated in here has the operon that will produce the enzymes in order to break down lysine, ornithine, or arginine, whichever test tube this is. And if you need a refresher on operons, I'm gonna leave the video link for you guys right over here. And a question that is fair game on test day is, which of these test tubes is more acidic than the other? And which one is more alkaline than the other? And how do you know this? And here's some additional questions that you can expect on your lab practical. Now feel free to answer those questions down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to check the description for additional study materials. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And I'll see all of you in the next one.